Right now, one in 10 Coloradans struggle with hunger. The USDA defines food insecure as the following, uncertain of having or unable to acquire enough food to meet the needs to all members. Food insecurity has become a growing problem since COVID-19 rattled our world, and history shows that it could be years before it lets up. Joining me now to talk about this is our nine health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley. A good morning, Dr. Coley. So being food insecure has a lot more implications than just being hungry. What are some of the short-term side effects of prolonged hunger? You know, Natasha, the problem with hunger and food insecurity is that it can affect every system of our body. So if you go head to toe, you can see that nutritional deficiencies can cause problems with their brain function, um, problems such as epilepsy or seizure disorders. It can cause problems with their vision. So vitamin deficiencies can cause problems with eyesight, problems with thyroid function. You think about our lungs and respiratory infections, food insecurity, being hungry and having nutritional deficiencies can affect our immune system and our risk for respiratory infections. We can have constipation. It can affect our bones and cause disorders like rickets. It can affect our skin and cause disorders of inflammation such as eczema. So that's really the problem. It can affect every organ system and it's likely to affect many organ systems because it's a systemic problem. Mm -hmm. Are there any lasting side effects? Unfortunately, they are. So even a short period of food insecurity can really cause long lasting side effects that are both mental and physical. So I like to call the mental side effects as psychological scars. As you can imagine, having food insecurity can have really long lasting effects on our mental health, our self-esteem and our image. And then there are physical effects such as diabetes, hypertension and asthma that can also occur as a result of food insecurity. You know, both adults and children in the state are dealing with this problem right now. Does prolonged hunger impact children any differently than adults? Yeah, children are even more vulnerable. And the problem is the earlier that children have food insecurity, the higher their risk. And there's three domains in which children can be affected. Obviously, their physical growth. So you can have, you know, malnutrition leading to problems with growth and their growth being stunted. Their cognitive development. So you can have developmental delay in children not hitting their milestones on time. And then their social growth and their mental health as well. So how they interact with others. So with our kids, we need to be even more careful because they're even more vulnerable for for the long lasting effects of food insecurity. All right, Dr. Coley, thank you so much for going through that all. And with this all said, there is a way that we can help families battling food insecurity. We are in the final stretch of Renine Cares Colorado Shares virtual food drive, benefiting the food bank of the Rockies. And all you got to do to help out is take out your phone, scan this QR code on your screen. It takes you to our donation page. And we just want to give a big thank you to anyone who's already donated. Every penny counts here.